What's going on you guys? My name is Panic 494 and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Battlefield 4 map balance. So a couple days ago in an interview with the Battlefield executive producer Patrick Bach, a new concept was introduced called Dynamic Factions. And this is going to play a key role in balance uh, going forward in Battlefield 4. So that combined with the new aspects of Levolution that are being introduced, it's going to add a whole nother level of balance to these maps. Now, anyone that's been a longtime fan of the Battlefield series knows that, yes, Battlefield 3 has its issues, yes, it has its balancing problems, but it is far and away the most balanced Battlefield game that has ever been produced. I'll stand by that 100%. And Patrick Bach is saying that Battlefield 4 is going to be even more balanced because of these new features they're adding. So, what is Dynamic Factions? What that means is that and a quote directly from him, it means any army on any side on any map. So with there being three factions in Battlefield 4, that essentially means that it's a roll of the dice every time you spawn into a multiplayer game about what faction you're going to be and what side you're going to be. So while this isn't going to change the dynamic a ton, it's going to change it enough so that, you know, it's going to tweak balancing just a little bit. Because every side has different weapons, every side has different vehicles, and every side plays just a little bit differently. And again, I want to reiterate it. I don't think it's going to be a huge balancing thing. I don't think it's going to change the outcome of games that much. But it's going to be interesting. You're going to see everything from a little bit of a different perspective. The vehicles are all going to be different. Weapons are going to be different. So it's definitely going to change the game. You know, enough, of, enough to make it a point that they're, you know, talking about it now. Another brand new feature being added to BF4 that's going to be a huge factor when it comes to map balance is Levolution. Now we all know what everyone's already talked about in regards to Levolution. The buildings can fall, they can change the landscape of the map. All of that stuff is really exciting, but we've known about that since E3. What we're just starting to see is that, at least through this interview, they're going to be incorporating a lot more dynamic map features into Battlefield 4. For example, there's not going to be a full day-night cycle. Patrick Bach confirmed that they're not going to have the same map playable at night and during the day. It creates way too many problems with the way they have to design the map. But they are going to have time cycles. So morning, early morning, late evening, dusk, dawn, middle of the day, things like that. And there will be night maps as well, I'm assuming. They're just not going to cycle between day-night. So that's going to be a factor. Every time you spawn into a given map, there's a chance for all of the lighting to be different. And, you know, little things like that definitely change the way things play out. You know, if you've ever played Battlefield 3, you know how ridiculous the sun can be sometimes on a given map or at a given angle when you're trying to either defend or attack or whatever. It can totally blind you. It can make it so you literally can't see anybody that you're trying to shoot at. So the fact that there are going to be cycles and the sun can be in different places it's going to change the way the whole map plays. And that's a really, really good thing, I think. Another example of a game that does that is Planetside 2. That has full day-night cycles, but anyone that's played that game knows that the time of day definitely affects the way you would go about attacking or defending stations and bases. So that's something that I'm really excited to finally see in Battlefield 3. It's something that I feel like fits really well with the game. It's not just a map that you dump players on. It really is a full user-created experience with vehicles and the way people play vehicles changes the way the whole map plays and the way people strategize, especially when you have 64 people. Another aspect that I think people have kind of wanted for a while and are really excited to see finally come to Battlefield is dynamic weather. Again, this is one of those things that just it feels so Battlefield, it's crazy that it's not already in there. So they're going to be dynamic weather effects, and that's going to change the way everybody plays again. So, for example, if it's raining or if it's foggy, people are going to fly differently than if it's, you know, crystal clear blue skies. To take it even a step further, Patrick Bach in this interview said that the weather is going to affect the state of the ocean on all of the maps as well. So in a game where we're introducing a whole other level of naval warfare, theoretically, we're going to have different sea levels. You know, the waves are going to be higher, it's going to be crashing all over the place, or it's going to be totally flat and calm. These things are going to change every time you spawn into the multiplayer game. So it's going to change the way people do everything. It's going to change what boats they decide to attack with, where they attack, if they're going to engage people on the water at all, 
or if they're going to try to just get to land as quickly as possible. And you know, it's features like this, the dynamic aspects of a map, that make me so hopeful for Battlefield 4 because it's going to give them so many more tools with which to balance everything out. So if they find out after beta testing that one side has a huge advantage here, they have more things that they can tweak to even everything out. So I think BF4 is going to be an even more balanced game than BF3 was, which was an even more balanced game than Bad Company was, which was more balanced than 2142 was, and so on and so on. They keep making steps in the right direction. It seems like they're doing a lot of things right. Every game they make is, is an improvement on the last one, so I'm excited to see it. I think it's going to be fantastic. I think it's going to be really balanced, and I think it's going to be the most popular Battlefield game in the history of Battlefield games. And I don't think that's a very bold prediction. I think that's kind of just a given at this point. So, as this video comes to a close, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. As always, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day and spending them with me. And I will see all of you next time. Take care, everybody.